shoot archery? Uh, what about air guns like PCP rifles? Handguns? Rifles? Shotguns? Thinking about getting a chronograph to measure your velocities and understand it? Before you buy one, you need to take a look at the Velocirator. This is brand new. This has been announced today here at SHOT Show on the first day. Uh, we're gonna do an interview uh, and get all the lowdown on this and why it's set up to be the best chronograph on the market. If you really wanna understand your ballistics coefficients, uh, this is the radar for you. And it's pretty much gonna shut down all the other uh, chronographs out. Hey guys, I'm Jared with Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you the new Velociradar chronograph. Uh, the Velociradar is a radar-based chronograph, but there's some special features about the about ours that sets apart from the competition. Um, so what you see here is your is your user screen. You have soft touch buttons. That's what your home screen is going to look like. Now this uses a chirp radar which is different than the Doppler radar that most of the competition uses. Most competition uses a Doppler radar, which is a continuous wave. Um, the problem with that is it's very good at picking up a speed, but it doesn't know what distance that bullet was registered at. So it could have been at three feet, could have been at 20 yards. We know that a bullet's gonna lose velocity the minute it leaves uh, the muzzle. So you're gonna get a variation of uh, reading based off of where that that chronograph is picking up. Chirp, on the other hand, which was we use here, uh, has the advantage because it goes out in bursts. And that chirp knows the distance and the speed. Very important for these next features that I'm going to show you. So we know the speed and the distance that the bullets reported in. So we're going to go ahead and start a new string. This is what it's going to look like. You can run this whole unit from the app. So you, you select it all, I've got all this. It'll download your, uh, your weather and all that, so your environmental. We hit start. So we hit a shot there, that's our first shot. We got it down here. So I'm gonna throw another shot up here so we get a little difference. So that's shot two. You can see what that registered. We have a minimum, an average, a max. We have a standard deviation, an extreme spread. And we have a ballistic coefficient. That ballistic coefficient is really where we start to separate ourselves. Because that chirp radar can detect the decreasing or the drag on the bullet as it goes down range, we can give you a ballistic coefficient that's actually true to the gun that you're shooting and the caliber that you're shooting. And it's gonna show you some interesting stuff. Number one, it's gonna be better for when you put it into your uh, ballistic calculator. It'll be truer, you'll get truer data because you're getting a true muzzle velocity because we're using chirp and you're getting a true ballistic coefficient because we're using chirp. But it will also, what I've found in testing, show you any kind of fluctuations in that BC that you're seeing are increased drag on that bullet. So what's causing that? Well, it can be a lot of stuff. It can be from uh, a mistake that you made uh, in, the, in the loading process. You've damaged the jacket of the bullet. Uh, it could be uh, damage caused from feeding around into the chamber, from magazine feed lifts, uh, feed ramps, damage to the point or tip of the bullet from a seating die, any number of things. But it, as a shooter is shooting and using this chronograph, you can monitor uh, that and kind of give you a, a, a unique look on what's going on with that shot more than just where the bullet's impacting. So it's really neat. It comes with this ball uh, head tripod, so it makes it easy to align with the target. It includes a USB rechargeable lithium ion battery, and it also includes a recoil trigger that plugs into the side if you're running a suppressor or something like that, and you don't want to run the, the acoustic trigger. But pretty good deal. All of this is going to MSRP for $499.99, and will be available in May of this year. Thank you so much. No problem, man.